Hey, uh, welcome back again everyone, glad you can join us. Uh, now, past few weeks I've been running a little few videos of us making a dyno, which uh, is for when I'm tuning race bikes. So, uh, we will be returning to that again um, once I get a front post made to hold the front wheel in place. And I think I'm toying with the idea to get one of those stands that you just roll the bike into and then not only can I use it in here on my dyno, I can maybe use it in my van when I'm carrying bikes or just as a stand outside when I want to stand a bike up. Um, so that'll come in a couple of weeks time I think. Um, in the meantime what I've been doing, last time we worked on Trigger's broom, but on that again, I was looking at doing the brakes, cleaning them up a little bit and I've done those so let's get them here. There's the, there's the front brake. Um, it's all painted now and nicely rounded off so that's ready to go back on so I'm going to store that away till I do final assembly. Same with the, the rear brake. Didn't need to do as much with that but I've rounded off slightly the corners along here just to make it a little bit uh, a little bit more old fashioned. I know disc brakes aren't they old fashioned but you know what I mean. So they're going to uh, be put away for now. And what I'm doing, I'm going to prepare this for a final sort of assembly. I know there's still a lot of work I could do, I could clean the wheels, um, change the sails on the front forks, clean the forks up a little bit. But what I'm going to do, I'm pottering on with uh, getting the frame ready so that when I strip it down I can weld everything up. So if I just go through the different parts of this, um, it's mainly the back end I'm concerned about. The front end, all of the wiring is just going to be on a harness and the headlight. So nothing I'm doing on there is going to concern any of the frame. Um, I'm trying to hide all the wires as much as I can. So starting at the back here, we've got the little indicators which uh, I showed before. And they're going underneath here. I've got, uh, I'll just pull you down a little bit. Right, we've got some nuts in the bottom there which I uh, welded in before. So they'll go into there and I'm going to take the wires along here and then try to maybe drill a hole to take them out at the bottom here and then up the main spine and out here somewhere. So a lot of the wires are going to come out here. Um, let's see, next thing, rear light just going into here. Now they've got these cables in here which I'm going to take out and replace it for one of these. It's just a three core flex. You can see there. It's only five millimeters diameter so I'll be able to take it down the tube again from there. They've came out here but I think I'm going to try and do something here, modify it, get a hole through so that I can take it up there straight into the main frame and out here under the tank. And that will got the backlight and then we've got a, so we'll have a, um, a negative, we'll have a tail light and we'll have a stop light. I've also got these, I'm going to put one of these on, a little number plate light. So that will just go on the, the, uh, on the top of the number plate because on the One of those things, not very really big, and it'll just fit on here somewhere and connect up to the cables going to the backlight. Um, because this backlight it doesn't have a little window to shine white light down onto the number plate, so I'm going to use one of those. Let's see, so that's on that side. On the other side, we've got the pickup. I've got the pick up there for the speedo. Now that's um, it's got a three core cable on it. It's less than five millimeters, only about four millimeters. But I'm going to do what we've done on here. I'm going to drill a little hole in the frame, and like on this side, I'm going to take it up and out here somewhere. And it's about long enough to reach there yet. So I'll make the termination. We'll put another connector, I think, up to the speedo. Um, the speedo. Uh, connector 
it hasn't got a very long wires on so I'm going to extend that to come down to here so I can just make the plug-in connection there. This is going to fit onto the brake um, bracket. There's a brake bracket on the other side which rotates and I'm going to put that into it so that um, if we move the wheel backwards and forwards the sensor moves with the wheel as well. We don't have to reposition this. Uh, and I'll have a couple of magnets on the somehow on the maybe it's the um, the brake disc where that'll fit onto. Right, let's see. Moving along the bike, we are going to need to put. I've got some of these hydraulic switches for the uh, brakes. So ones for the back going down here, ones for the front up there. But again, it's going to be down round here somewhere on the other side. And I'll just take it um, to the main tube and up the main tube to connect it into the wiring harness. Right, the battery box here, this uh, extinguisher, the brass extinguisher which I made before. I've got an on off switch which is going to go into that. And it's a switch where the key can come out in both positions. So I got one of those so that off's not a problem when can you turn it on I didn't want keys dangling down here and um, so I can pull the switch out and um, pop that in my pocket it does have the kill switch on the end of the extinguisher here right so that's that and um, the main fuse that's going to go inside of there as well so I put it on the outside Oops, screws off fuse goes back in there We'll find that in a minute um, so that I don't have to take all this apart if pop a fuse. Wires from here, there will be the starter motor wire which I've got out here and a negative which I'll have to take through into the, um, onto the engine somewhere and there will also be another negative probably and start a motor switch and positive which will come out and go up the freedom up to here. They don't have to be quite as big because there's not a lot um, that takes any current on the bike. Everything is going to be LED lights so the main thing is a start a motor in the ignition and I think that's about it. In here we've also got the switch which I've got a new one here for the um, well, the gear indicator because the speedo which I've got indicates what gear you're in so I've got a new one of these switches so I've got the neutral and the six different gears which uh, we'll be able to take now that's going to go along here along with these I'm trying to hide the wiring as much as possible can't really see very well but I've got the ignition running through where the starter motor is because there was a little access hole and I've drilled a half inch hole in the back of here so that I can get that wire out for the ignition and I can also get the wire through there at the starter motor so all the wires are going to be behind this case so you won't see anything um, along with this and they'll go along and probably into the main tube somewhere and come out wherever they need to. Now for this it's not that long. Um, I was going to plan on putting a connector on here somewhere under here and then take that up and I did buy them. I almost certain I bought a piece of seven core cable, very thin, but seven core cable to go up there. Uh, can I help find it though? <laughs> I'll come across it when I'm not looking for it. So that's not that important at the minute. Um, the alternator, I've took the three wires through here, they'll come down here. I'm thinking about putting a, a pipe or something behind the chain so that keeps all the wiring nice and tidy out the way. But the other three wires for the alternator which I'm going to take up and join onto the regulator which is underneath here. And I will need a, a wire from the regulator going up to charge the batteries, uh, positive and negative. Um, Right, and that's about it. We've got uh, the electronic ignition I mentioned, three wires there. 
I've got the other end here. Now go on to the little block which is on here, which is the dyno electronic one. This is one of the older dynos uh, ignitions. The newer ones, I fitted one for a, a lad uh, not so long ago, and it's got the actual electronics built in to the plate. Got the pickups, so you don't need to have a separate electronic box. It's uh, the very good, the easy to uh, replace because you only need about three wires. I think you need a positive wire going to it, and the two wires uh, going to your coils, and everything else is on the on the uh, electronic back plate. You know, for the timing, so that was easy to fit. All right. Um, so as I was seeing the three wires from there, they're not going to be long enough, but I'm a going here and I've only got the others down to here. So what I'm planning on doing is using a piece of this three core cable to connect onto those and lead that through the frame down to here and then have a connector under here or inside of this somewhere. Uh, I was toying with putting it inside of that, but it means you've got to take the starting motor off, uh, cover off to get to it. So I may just try and put a connector down here somewhere for the rest of the ignition. Right, once I get to that point I can then concern myself with the front of the bike, which I'm not too bothered about at the moment. I just want to make sure I've got enough holes through here in the right places and big enough to get all the cables in so that I can then start stripping the frame down, um, weld it up, paint it before we start assembling it again. Right, well thanks again for joining us everybody, uh, not sure what we're going to go on to next, I do have a Kawasaki 600 in the pipeline which may be having a look at that, um, it's been stood for a while and it's just recommissioned it, getting it run again nice, um, anyway, in the meantime, stay safe everybody and hope to see you again next time. Mm -hmm.